Good morning students. Today we are going to begin a new chapter and the name of the chapter is Fireworks, Silk and the Great Wall. This chapter is a part of uh, your history section. So let us see what this chapter is about. Do you know what this picture shows? It shows the Great Wall of China. Perhaps the most famous thing China is known by. The Great Wall is one of the longest man-made structures in the world. Different parts of the wall were built by different kings over a period of more than 1500 years. The Great Wall was meant to protect the Chinese kingdoms from foreign invaders. Soldiers, prisoners and farmers took part in building the wall. They used many kinds of building materials including stone, bricks, wood and even rice flour. The Great Wall is just one of the many amazing things the ancient Chinese made. So, this paragraph is talking about this picture here. This picture shows us a part of the Great Wall of China. And in this paragraph, it describes the various methods, things and the time span that was taken to build this wall. First, this wall is known as the Great Wall of China. Okay, it is a very prominent feature and it can even be seen from space. So, it is a huge wall. Okay, it runs along the China, it, it runs along the mountains and covers a huge portion. And it took 1500 years to build. Okay, so different kings uh, at different point of time uh, sanctioned to make this wall okay so uh, the uh, this walls were built why was this wall built this wall was built to protect the chinese kingdom from foreign invaders so at those times okay uh, there were a lot of uh, uh, fighting between the different kingdoms so to protect china from invasion from other countries by other kingdoms the Chinese king sanctioned to build this wall and this wall acts as a guard and who who were involved in building this wall soldiers prisoners and farmers okay what were the materials used stone bricks wood and even rice flour so this is one of the uh, one of the amazing uh, structures that was built by the chinese okay there are many others and uh, various different invasion inventions of the chinese which we are going to read about so let us continue the chinese civilization started about 4500 4, years ago it is one of the world's oldest along with the civilizations of egypt iraq and the indus valley the ancient Chinese had a very good knowledge of the sciences and the arts. They invented many things, some of which were still, some of which we still use. They gave us fireworks, which we enjoy so much. They also gave us gunpowder, silk, paper, and printing. So you see the Chinese civilization. Okay, Chinese civilization means the uh, culture of the Chinese. Okay, so the Chinese civilization, it started about 4,500 years ago. So Chinese civilization began about 4,500 years ago. And it is one of the oldest along with Egypt, Iraq and Indus Valley. These are uh, three other contemporary civilizations that were uh, very famous. The ancient Chinese had good knowledge of science and arts and they invented a lot of things. Okay, so what are the things they gave us? They gave us firework, gunpowder, silk, paper and printing. So very important things, very important inventions we have received from them and which are still in use, right? So let us talk about fireworks and gunpowders. So this section deals with lucky accidents. Fireworks and gunpowder. Fireworks were invented by accident. It is said that a Chinese cook mixed some common things used in the kitchen in those days. The mixture caught fire accidentally and exploded. The Chinese started using the mixture to make fireworks for the festivals and celebrations. 
They believed that the loud noise made by the fireworks would drive away evil spirits. So you see, the invention of fireworks, okay, it was an accident. That is why this section is called lucky accidents. What happened was, a Chinese cook, okay, he was mixing some materials. During those days, they did not have gas cylinders, okay. So the kind of fire that was used for cooking was different. So different kinds of materials, fuel materials were used. So a cook was mixing some of these materials when it caught fire and there was a big explosion like it happens in crackers, right? So from there, the idea of fireworks came and the Chinese believed that these fireworks, which made loud noises, were, uh, were could be used for keeping away evil spirits. Like during Diwali, we do that, right? The Sera, Diwali, what do we do? We burst crackers, we burn fireworks, right? Why do we do that? To keep the evil spirits away. So you see, there is a similarity between our culture and the Chinese culture, right? So this is about the fireworks. Let's see the next section. The mixture that exploded when lit had other uses too. It was used in weapons that exploded, like small bombs. It was also used to fire guns, cannons and rockets. We call this mixture gunpowder. So you see the same mixture that was used to make fireworks, okay, was also used as gunpowder. Why? Because it was used in weapons, okay. Uh, the gunpowder is still present in uh, various uh, weapons actually, okay. So you see we use this even today. Small bombs crackers you burst they have a kind of powder inside them right which is which helps to which helps it to burst right which catches fire and burst so that exact powder is gunpowder which is being talked about here so this is another important invention look at this picture okay Let's see what this picture is. The picture shows a device that the Chinese made to show the direction in which an earthquake happened. When an earthquake occurred, the dragon facing the direction of the earthquake would drop the ball into the mouth of the metal toad below it. So you see, this is another invention which is very important. Why? This, uh, this, uh, this structure, okay, this thing is used to show which direction an earthquake is coming from. See this dragon here. Okay, these dragons. See, they have small balls in their mouth. And you see this dragon, the ball drops into the mouth of the toad. This is a toad or a frog, right? So, what happens is, when an earthquake, before it hits, okay, when there is an earthquake, these, this, uh, what uh, what do I call this? Uh, this structure, okay, uh, it can feel the vibration and the direction of the vibration causes the ball to drop from the mouth of the dragon into the frog. And that indicates from which direction the earthquake is occurring. So this is another important invention of the Chinese. Uh, you can call it an earthquake detector. Okay. So, we have already seen three very important inventions of the Chinese. Let's see further. Silk. Silk come from, comes from the silkworm. The Chinese were the first to make silk. They were also the first to make clothes from it. It is believed that silk was discovered by a Chinese queen when a silkworm cocoon fell into her hot tea. When the thread from the cocoon was woven, it gave silk cloth. Silk was very valuable in ancient China. Only the king and the people of high rank were allowed to wear clothes made from it. So you see this section talks about uh, the material, cloth making material which is known as silk. So silk is a very fine and soft kind of cloth material. Now what happens is so the China, first and foremost it's important to know that the Chinese were the ones who discovered silk and they were the ones who first used it to make cloth so uh, it it is a story that one day a Chinese queen was drinking tea when a cocoon fell into her tree uh, sorry into her tea and 
then from it slowly silk was silk threads were woven out and from that the idea of making silk came so what is silk okay silk does not come from trees uh, you have all of you have seen a caterpillar right uh, so a caterpillar a silk worm is a small insect which looks almost like a caterpillar okay so it is similar to a caterpillar and like the caterpillar builds a cocoon before it becomes a butterfly okay the silkworm also builds a similar kind of cocoon before it transforms so this cocoon which it builds this cocoon is actually what is used to make the uh, silk thread okay not the insect itself the cocoon is uh, woven into silk threads from which silk is obtained and these threads are woven into pieces of silk cloth from which dresses are made and silk was used to be a very costly material it still is a costly material but previously only kings queens and high ranking people who had money used to wear clothes made of silk uh, made of silk okay but now anybody who has money can buy and wear silk clothes so you see this map this map shows you a route okay this route is known as the silk route okay this is the route through which the chinese carried out their trade okay so this map shows us the silk road silk was in great demand all over the world and for hundreds of years the chinese were the only people who knew how to make it this made them rich the chinese traded silk with other places in asia and also sent it to europe the road by which the travelers traveled the traders traveled to these distant lands became known as the silk road so the map which i just showed you okay this map shows us the silk road and uh, as the chinese were the only one who knew how to make silk they traded silk with other continents and other countries and slowly they obtained money from them and exchanged goods in return of silk and they were turning rich next let us talk about paper printing and some other things in ancient times people either wrote on bamboo strips or on silk but bamboo was heavy and silk was costly things changed when the chinese invented paper they made it from rags bamboo fibers and the bark of the mulberry tree they were also the first to start printing letters and other designs were carved on wooden blocks these blocks were used to print on paper or cloth so you see two more important things are talked about here one is paper making of paper and the other is the invention of printing so two very important thing nowadays whatever we read okay all the books that we read are made of paper and they are printed so if the chinese had not invented paper or printing maybe maybe it is possible that we might not have had papers and uh, printing system so okay, right we might have still continued in the ancient system what was the ancient system ancient system was the use of bamboo strips and silk one was heavy and the other was costly so after that the chinese invented paper and that was invented with the help of rags okay rags means uh, uh, torn cloth okay bamboo fiber and mul bark of the mulberry trees okay so these were the things that were used to make uh paper and then they started uh, to uh, print which they used by carving out uh, designs or the alphabets on the wooden blocks and that was used to print the chinese also gave us tea kites porcelain the compass which shows us direction and the abacus we use for counting so you see these are few more important inventions of the chinese so there is a number of inventions made by the chinese so this is the end of your chapter this is a short easy and interesting chapter so read this chapter once again it's a very easy chapter and i'm sure you all have understood it very clearly uh, you should not have any problem with that but if you do surely contact me i will uh, answer your questions and that is all for today thank you and bye bye